Hey, this is Vu, and this is going to be in-game leading, or how to lead your team once you have strats basically down. This is something you can do in matchmake, but you have to have a really receptive team, which is pretty rare. So mostly this is for full teams in scrims or league. I've done this video once before, but someone in the comments mentioned that I didn't do it really very well, and I felt like he was right, and there's a lot of things I could improve on that video. So this one's going to be a little bit less about... A specific team but more about generally what you need to do to win games as a strat caller. Now this is going to be focusing mostly on gun rounds as pistol rounds are just something you run once and generally don't involve much reading of the enemy team. Your goal as a strat caller is generally going to be to find a strat that works and then run it into the ground and more or less win the entire half based on that single strat. For this, you need to have a strat that is able to be run multiple times in a row and actually work. Strats like a long rush or a B rush aren't going to work consistently, but they're good to win you a few rounds a half if you play them right, and they're really good for f learning the way your opponent plays and for putting them on the back foot. Important to note is that long rushes or a B rush is only going to work if you have the right spawn. So a good spawn for a long rush is going to be here with your opper. Your opper can get this spawn there and run directly along and set up here and catch these players running along through towards pit. A good B rush is going to be here. You want more riflers to spawn here. Actually, preferably you want your riflers to spawn here and your opper to spawn around here. Because if your opper spawns here, he can't actually make it to mid before they cross. And especially he can't set up. So if they have an opper peek him, he's going to have a lot of trouble. You don't want to be running a B rush usually unless you have your riflers spawn around here and your opper hopefully spawn around here or even here so we can set up in mid and get shots on the guys crossing. Actually, one of the strats I like to run, just a variability, is if I'm doing a default where we send three people through lower to cat, or two people through lower to cat, and one player playing upper tons, that means we have three people in tunnels, right? So I'll have our opper pick mid, or if we're double opping, we'll double pick mid, and if I ever get a pick, I say to my team, rush B if we get a pick on people crossing, because they play 3-1-1, that one player is not going to be able to pick or rotate into the site nearly quickly enough to actually stop a B rush if we get that pick crossing. Now, as I said, you want to find a strat that can work multiple times. So you want to find a strat that either hits mid or hits A, okay? It needs to hit mid to B or hit A. Those are the only two real ways you can hit a spot. But they're only spot the only spots on the map where you can actually hit multiple times and have it work or at least fake. If you're doing a B hit, they're going to figure it out. I mean, they're going to rotate one to B maybe. They're going to figure it out pretty quickly. Same with the long hit for the most part. You can't really run that too many times. So this sort of magical strat, the strat that can work a lot of times, usually works by isolating their rotating player or players. That's going to be for Dust2, their mid player who plays here, between this these angles here. Or if they're playing a CT player, which would be 2 long A, 2A, usually playing long. Usually they'll play 1 pit, 1 car, 1 CT, 1 mid, and 1 B. Okay, you want to isolate their mid player, or if they're playing a CT player, their mid and CT player. So you want to be isolating preferably their CT player mostly. He's the kind of he's the rotating arm of this setup. Just like in a two one two or a three normal three one one, their mid player is going to be the rotating arm where he moves between B and mid and A. Okay, he's got this whole area to cover. Whereas if he's playing with the CT player, the CT player is covering this area. And the mid player is covering this area, right? And the mid player is going to be a lot less of a problem. The main guy is going to be the CT player. So you need to find a strat that can isolate them. And, of course, to isolate their mid or CT player, you need to first know which setup they're playing. And for this reason, I always suggest playing aggressive towards that part of the map early on in the round. I would always suggest playing aggressive in general early in the round or early in the half because you can draw out nades and flashes later on in the game. But I always suggest playing aggressive specifically towards this area. That means towards cat by hitting up cat or towards mid by hitting out mid early on in the round. 
One way I like to play, actually, is you can get one of these spawns where you have three people kind of in this area right here, and you can have all three of them fast cat run directly up cat and basically get to here, and they can stop and hear exactly where this guy is. He can, you, They can figure out but basically if they're playing one mid or they're playing one CT and three dedicated A, and with that, you can mold your whole half. If they're playing only one, C, uh, one mid, sorry, and he's playing dedicated mid and they're playing nobody CT spawn here, you should be able to mold your whole half around winning mid to B hits, which means you can play three towards mid, you send three up mid to B and two towards tunnels usually with a smoke he through here so they can't cover here and then your goal is to isolate this mid player that plays here and take mid to B and you should be able to mold your half by that by winning that once going back to it again a couple rounds later and then faking it right and then they're gonna have to rotate their whole setup by when you fake it they're gonna have to rotate their whole setup and what's gonna happen is they're gonna have when you start to push them back when you have control of this area here when you get control of cat at the beginning of the round what's gonna happen is this mid player that sits right here is gonna be really scared he's gonna fall back and sit right here because he's too afraid of getting picked Okay, so what's going to happen is they're going to have one player back plat probably, and one player here, and look how long this rotate is. Look how long the rotate from B to A is. That's a really long rotate, which means you can win the half, not even by going B very much after you win that first mid B to mid B split, you can actually win the half by forcing their mid player to play back because he's their rotating arm. He's exactly who needs to be working the map and finding things out and winning rounds for them. He's too scared to play aggressively. You push him back towards B and he's basically on the longest rotate of the map. He has to go all the way from B to CT spawn, which is really dangerous actually. He might have to go all the way from here up to cat and up there, that's a very long rotate. This is what I mean by isolating certain players. So now, if you find they play one CT and one mid, it gets a little bit more complex because it's a more intricate setup. Actually, I think it's a much better setup if you're playing it. But usually, you wanna be trying to draw the CT player towards one side of the map, then quickly hit the other. This can either mean throwing a bit of a cat fake by maybe smoking up A, like this, having these areas smoked, and then hitting quickly towards B with four while well, you have one player on cat that can drop and flank him from cat like this. Or you can throw a quick fake of the mid B split by throwing a smoke here, flashing out. You can throw a pop flash out here, and then isolating up here. You can push this guy back, right? And then the mid GB guy has to rotate. He's going to be around here, and then you quickly hit up cat with your members that have been walking up cat. Once you have a strat that works against a certain team, you can start to string the rounds together by utilizing the knowledge this strat gives you, right? So if you know their CT spawn player doesn't rotate very quickly, if he plays heavy towards here because he's supposed to be delaying cat and he doesn't rotate mid to B nearly quickly enough, maybe because you've thrown that bit of a fake there before and hit right up cat, which is something that is very good for you to do actually, then you can start to hit just straight mid to B, right? So if you've shown them that your goal strat here is to smoke off here, fake this area, fake out here, right? And then hit up cat, he's gonna be slow to rotate and you know he's gonna be slow to rotate. This is something you can predict. He's not gonna wanna rotate from cat quite as quickly. So you can then start to win the half based on this one strat, like I was saying, by smoking off here and then looking exactly the same. There's no way they can know that you're not running the exact same strat and you can hit right up mid to B or you can, you can fake that. You can even double fake. You can smoke it, right? Throw a flash out and then instead of hitting right up mid to B, you fall back and go long. Because what you're gonna find is that once you once you fake this guy out once and you hit up cat, and then you fake this guy out again and you hit B and he's been on a slow rotate, what's gonna happen is their long players are actually gonna rotate really quickly because you've been hitting cat and you've been hitting B. So you go back to long because you know their long players are gonna rotate. This is this is so situational, right? This is very hard to to know without putting yourself in that situation. But if you can imagine Round, let's say round gun number one. I'll put you through a scenario here. Gun number one, gun round number one. Their opper plays aggressive mid, and you do a quick 
mid take by running three down suicide. These are, th so I'm going to tell you that this is something that's not going to happen that often. There's so many variables, but you can imagine this general situation happening a few times. So you have your three players in it with a good spawn. They might not all line up like that, but they can spawn like here, here, here or something, right? And you have them quickly go down cat right up to cat and they find that they're playing only one mid and they're playing three dedicated a with usually a good a standard setup is like this okay and they're playing one mid with an op which is really good for you it's hard to hold mid against a push with an op and one b okay so they have this setup here and you find that out with your quick cat strat well then what you do on that round you smoke off ct hit mid to B with three or four, and then hit through B, you win that round, okay? So what do you know after you win that round? Well, if they're playing this exact setup, okay, you know that they're very weak to that exact hit, okay? So you might want to run that exact hit again and get a feeler for exactly how they're playing it this time. So if you run that exact hit again, let's say it works again, but you see that they're now playing... A little bit different they're playing one on plat one by car and one by long but you know the long player now is on a quick rotate he's quickly flanking through long so now maybe you throw a, a smoke mid flash out send one player out or maybe two players out but you have one player waiting outside long and you have one player on cat ready to hit up cat so actually what you're gonna do is kill this guy outside long stop the strat fall back and then decide to where to go from there because you've pulled their team out of position okay now imagine that you've done that. You've you threw that mid B fake and then this long player died. Your long player got the kill on this long player and you fell back and you hit up towards long with one player staying T spawn that could rotate to pit. This is actually extremely annoying. One of the reasons I don't like Dust 2 very much. They have a mid player sit T spawn the whole round, right? You plant for long and he just picks off rotates, picks off rotates and then once they've gotten up cat, oh he just runs right over and pit and there's nothing you can do right okay so let's say that happened that round well what do you know now you know their long player is going to play more passive but they still need to cover that mid b split because it's so dangerous what they might do is they might send a rifler mid instead or they might start playing that one player ct and they'll play two dedicated towards long on a quick rotate back to cat and they'll play one towards ct and two towards b okay which means then that their cat is pretty weak which means you can throw a smoke here you can throw a smoke here and you can hit right up cat after throwing a smoke here and again faking that exact same strat now of course in between these hits you want to be running some fakes you want to or not fakes sorry but you want to be running some hits you want to be running some quick hits where if you have your long player spawn here you have him run right up get a pick and then you have your players cross behind him i always suggest you have your players cross behind him so he doesn't end up shooting anybody, right? Or maybe one of these rounds, you feel like their upper mid is kind of weak, right? Or like they're starting to expect it. They're starting to expect this hit where you smoke CT spawn and then you flash out and they expect that flash. So he stays behind the corner. Then you flash out, he peeks out and gets a kill. So what you do instead, which is something I've seen Fnatic do a lot actually, is instead of flashing out especially if they play their opera here after the first little bit and they play one here what flashing out does is all it does is let them know exactly what's happening so maybe you know they have one ct right and they're playing one here one there one there instead of flashing out and smoking ct and throwing a fake you can instead have your opera walk right out hug this corner and get the pick on this guy's ct as a free kill or maybe you know he's not ct you you walk right out and instead of smoking it so early you just throw one single pop flash that lands right here and you have three players hiding around this corner run instantly out right this is the sort of adjustment you need to make you need to know exactly how they're reacting and you need to think about exactly how you can react to how they're reacting this is it's like a game of chess here between strat callers that's what makes it so fun it's it's a back and forth between two people basically trying to ex outsmart each other and it, it's it's a ton of fun to do that's why i really love strat calling